What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm doing an unboxing and a review of the Moga Rebel Premium iPad iPhone game controller. Now if you're wondering why on earth I have a white PS4 controller, it's basically for scale to see how close in size it is. I don't have an Xbox One so um, yeah, this is going to be where it's at for comparisons. I also have a handy knife here for cutting any tape on here, and then I have behind that the uh, Thieves Guild symbol on my case for my iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm going to be setting it up and playing it and everything, all right? So anyway, we'll start with uh, the unboxing part. This is it. I found it at Target today. It's sold out like everywhere that you would try to get it through regular like Amazon and stuff like that but if you go to Target's website Walmart stuff like that they might have them uh, and check in your local store too that's what I had to do right so this is the box uh, says what its features are some of the games that it supports or that support it whichever right now blah 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 and let's just go ahead and get into this alright so Cut some El Tapo, kids don't play with knives. And uh, let's see what we got going on here. Actually, I'm going to need to cut uh, both of these because I did not see that second one. Hey, hey. All right. Let's see what we got here. We've got a nice shiny orange box. All right. So. Ta da! We have uh, documentation, blah, blah, blah. Here's how it all works. Yeah, yeah, I don't read any of that. Okay, and then we've got uh, a cable here, USB, and uh, I guess that's a micro USB or something of that nature there, right? And this is presumably to charge it since it does have a battery in it. And here is the controller. Just move the handy dandy box over here. Alright. At first glance and first touch, it's, uh, I mean, obviously it looks like an Xbox 360, Xbox One controller, whatever. It has that form factor. You know what I mean? So, this is where you put your phone, and it has its smart, or smart, S M R T lock technologies, right? And it's just, that's how it works. It'll squeeze down onto your phone, right? Um, I guess we have a power button here, and let's see if it comes charged. Yes, it does. All four lights lit up there. Uh, we've got a Bluetooth sync button. I guess this button here pauses certain games and whatnot. And uh, everything feels really good. R1, L1, R, or. Uh, R1, L1, R2, L2, R2, D2, whatever, C3PO. And here is where we will plug this in to charge it, right? And I guess there's a reset button just in case things go awry for whatever reason. And uh, that's pretty much that. That's the unboxing of it. Oh, I guess uh, once you actually sync it up, you turn it on. And then if the game supports the controller, then you will see that... It is connected and ready for you to play. So let's go ahead and try to fit the phone in this case. Now, I have a Cena case here. This is like a premium leather kind of, you know, I'm, I'm going to be the girl going to the club. I need my ID and my credit card, which you can see I don't have in there because I don't go to the club with the bub. Yeah, anyway, um, so let's see if this will fit in here like this without me having to actually take the phone out. That's one of the things I've been the most curious about. Uh, definitely fits the phone. All right. I mean, it works. It twerks. You know, it's kind of... It's actually my phone is still loose, but it grabs what it needs to grab for there to actually be, you know, the phone there. Now it looks like if I'm gonna want to play holding it down, then my phone would fall from this. But yeah, so if you have one of these kind of cases, there you go. However, 
it's not a big deal to take the phone out of the case. But, you know, if I'm taking this thing around and whatnot, I think this is going to be just fine to do the things that I want to do. Uh, like gaming, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to go now. I'm going to play with this. I'm going to test it out a little bit. That way I can come back and give you a review, and it'll look to you like I just magically came back. So, anyway, um, I will be back in just a second with that. All right, everyone, I am back now. I've got Terraria pulled up here. A couple of things really quickly. One, PS4 controller comparison size-wise, okay? This thing is pretty much exactly the same size as a PS4 remote, bigger even, uh, in all ways. So it's more like uh, akin to an Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller, okay? So if you're planning on carrying this thing around your pocket, probably not going to happen. Second thing these uh, instructions that I tossed over there a little while ago I took them out to read them and make sure that I'm giving you solid information on the buttons here turns out this is the actual on off button okay unable to download app Grand Theft Auto 3 whatever retry it okay resume game this turns it on and off the actual controller itself this button here is actually a battery checker so you push it and it shows you how much battery you have or don't have okay this button here is a blu-ray uh, you know it syncs up okay whatever you can't sync or download whatever okay this syncs your device so you hop into uh, your settings in the iPhone okay and you turn on your Bluetooth if you haven't enabled it already and my game crashed because every time I get a notification from something else that's what happens let's go back into it anyway you get the two things talking and once you do you simply load up your game for me Terraria you can go into settings and here it says controller connected alright so I already know that a controller is connected I can go back as you can see I can touch the screen in addition to using the controller here so I'll press play I'll go into my world uh, let that load and everything's great I absolutely love this the pitfall of Terraria for me on the mobile form factor is movement and things like that sometimes it's it's kind of a hindrance um, it's the only frustrating thing for me with the game on mobile uh, and so this really does away with that okay my issues are non-existent pretty much with movement now because of this as you can see on the screen there's a little bubble to indicate where I am directionally moving uh, with the left joystick right uh, I can attack with back here and I can face whichever direction I want to attack by using this joystick or I can simply you know move left and right which is what I'm gonna do because if I use this then my thumb isn't freed up to actually jump jump around jump up jump up and get down right so um, yeah e everything's fantastic response time is absolutely great feels really solid um, one of the things I was worried about with this controller was uh, people mentioning that the Blu-ray connection would drop between the device and the phone. I have not had that happen yet. And I've been messing with this for, I don't know, 30, 20, 30 minutes, something like that, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, it's been great so far. The only thing that I have noticed, uh, game-wise, in Terraria at least, so you know, I don't know what other issues might exist in other games, is if I first of all try to go into the inventory which here these things will change depending on you know if you're close to a person or close to a treasure chest you'll see that you have some different options pop up here uh, let me go Y for inventory and see how this is working right now I can move around and select things and all that a little while ago when I tried that it wasn't moving when I was trying to move left or right up or down the selection wasn't changing um, so that was just minor bug it's only happened once so far not really a big deal because all I did was touch the screen to make selections I wanted to make just like normal not a big deal um, and the same with the treasure chests depending on which one you want to select sometimes it's a little bit wonky when you try to move this to get onto the one or near the one or pointing to the one that you want to select so I still just touch the screen to select whichever treasure chest I want to get into you know what I mean so there's definitely a couple little oddities like that that not really a big deal but probably worth the mention absolutely not a deal breaker in my humble opinion for this 
Um, and for this game at least, this controller is going to be a life changer. <laughs> I'm so excited to start playing through. Um, I'm basically at the wall of flesh in uh, pre-hardcore mode, so that's going to be my next thing I'm going to do here, and I may even do a video showing me fighting it uh, using this controller just to see how it goes and to demonstrate that. But anyway, um, not quite sure how it's going to perform with other games. I assume it's going to be equally as amazing. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that some games like Minecraft don't yet uh, have support for this thing because I would love that so much. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is just a quick little review. And let me mess up these harpies real quick because uh, they're aggravating me. Um, so yeah, if you have Terraria, if Terraria is the game you had in mind for getting one of these, I say go for it. Absolutely go for it. If you know someone who plays Terraria on their phone, get this for them for Christmas or something because it is absolutely awesome. Like I said, I couldn't find it anywhere online uh, at the time, but my local Target had it, so you might want to check your, you know local Target, local Walmart, Apple Store, I, I hear, has them. Um, so go check out those places. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video answered your questions. Feel free to leave me more questions in the comments below if you have more, okay? Uh, I will answer them, uh, you know, to the fullest extent that I can. So thanks again for watching. Give me a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to me. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews. Let me know if there's other things you would like to see me review because I'm always picking stuff up to do things like this. All right. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.